Hi, this is Trisha, Trisha's Cards and Crafts. I've just, um, I've made a couple of videos already and I thought I'd try and do a series of um, uh, videos for sa Sundays. I'm, I'm going to call them Simple to Stepped Up Sundays. Okay, this is the first um, of the videos of the series. Um, if you like them, please subscribe below. Um, and if you if you'd like to see more, obviously that'll help. And also, if you like them, please can you click on the thumbs up? Okay, everything is below the video. These are the cards that I've made for this time, and I'll show you how to make the simple one. Um, and then I'll explain how I made the, the stepped up version. Okay, so we'll start off with a note card and envelope. These come in packs of 20, you get 20 cards and 20 envelopes. Okay, the envelope to the side for a minute. And then you just, they're already scored, so you just need to fold them. And then use your bone folder, put a little crease in there. Okay, that keeps them nice and flat. When you stamp in, it's probably easier to stamp it flat. Okay, right. I'm using the Positive Thoughts stamp set. And there are some coordinating dies which I've used to make the stepped up version. Okay. And I'm using the Maiden Hair Fern, I think that's what it is, and the Butterfly for this card. And I've used the sentiment, sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. The colours I'm using for inks are soft sea foam and grey granite. And I haven't got a pencil. Um, colour in the butterfly with the with the soft um, seaside spray but I have got the balmy blue pencil so if you use it nice and softly it should be fine if you if you haven't got that you can use any colours anyway okay whichever you whatever colours you like to use but I thought these would look nice together and they're the colours that I used on the stepped up version as well So what I've done first of all is inked up my stamp and I'm going to put this down there, stamped it once and I lift it up and I'm going to put it back down again, stamp a second time and this only a slight um, impression becomes the second time and then I'm inking it back up again. and. Stamping it down, and I'm going to ink it, put it back down for a second time. There you go, and you just get an impression that there's something behind it. Now I'm going to stamp the butterfly in grey granite. And the sentiment again in grey granite. Stamp that. The top of the card. There we go. Then if I'm going to colour in the wings, just do this, this very lightly. You could leave it without colouring it in, it'll look just as nice. 
but I think just adding an, another colour to finish it off. There we go. Now if you wanted to, because these pencils are watercolour pencils, you could use um, these um, blender pens or you could use an aqua painter, um, a brush, a water brush, or you can use a brush with some water and you can just soften the colour even more on the front of the card. There we go. Obviously if you're using it a brush, always make sure it's clean before you start using it in case you want to and if and when you finish just clean it off again. And there we have your card. What I also did with the envelope, I used the Forever Fern, the Fern <laughs> and the Soft Sea Foam again and just stamped, because I'm not using it all, just stamped off on the corner of the envelope. There we go. So that then is how I did this card. With the, this card, I did use the marker pen in the soft sea foam. But I found that was quite dark, so that's why I tried using the pencil instead. But there wasn't a, a seaside spray pencil, so but this one's a balmy blue. Okay. On the stepped up version, what I did for this one, I used a, a bigger card and envelope. I used a larger pen um, envelope. I used the sea, I used the soft sea foam um, piece of card at the back. I then used some white card and I put that through an embossing with an embossing folder. This is a new one that's out in the new catalogue, and it's called Old World Paper 3D Embossing Folder. Okay, put that through. Then I stamped out the two, two ferns plus the butterfly onto a piece of white card and then I die cut them using the dies that come with the set or they coordinate with the set. Then I added a piece of seaside spray card to go in the middle and then a piece of white card on top. I tied a bow with the white crinkle seam binding. Um, tied a knot, sorry, and then I coloured, I stamped one of the butterflies at the top and at the bottom of the white card and then I coloured them in using the stamping blends and I used the light soft sea foam and the light seaside spray and then I just did the light seaside spray on the inside and the soft sea foam on the outside. And then I finished it off, I put them all together, finished it off with three small pearls. Okay, I also did on the inside of this card, I put the sentiment on the inside and I put, uh, stamped the leaf as well on the insert. And I also did the envelope, so I did the back of the envelope and the little one on the front. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you'll come back and see if I do some more Sunday stamping. Um, so that's from simple to stepped up stamping on a Sunday. Okay, hope to see you again soon. Hope you liked that. Please don't forget, give a thumbs up if you can, if you liked it. And if you want, would like to, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, this is Trisha. Bye.